there Scorpios and welcome back for another general love reading shout out to all of the beautiful amazing Scorpios of the world the sun is shining on you even though it is a cloudy partly cloudy day here on the outside the sun is always shining on the inside Scorpios so shout out to you Scorpios I saw the most most amazing thing in my backyard as I was doing my other Scorpio reading for brown eyes intuitions and right in the middle, because I keep this back door open, and I didn't even know that we had uh, deers out here. I saw a whole family, and they were so beautiful. They came up to the fence. Man, it's, it's, it's amazing, because I'm within the city limits, but I guess, wow. And by the trees falling down, which is another transformation, shedding away the old so that the new can come in. The old is just baggage, it's, it's decay, it's trash. It doesn't serve us anymore. So with all the leaves being gone, I could just see clearly. And that represents to me is what Spirit was showing me, the amount of abundance and fertility because there's life, life, earth, energy. So all of your needs can be met. They're already met. You just have to tap into that earthly uh, spiritual energy because it's, you have to tap in spiritually in order to attract the physical here. So shout out to you, Scorpio. Let's tap into your energy first and see where, where are you currently. Uh, you know, this is always lover's lane. It's always time for love. Sometimes you have to make time for love if it's something that you're looking for. And since I know that this is why I am on this earth, I am here to share the love, uh, to be that beacon of light and hope for your love. All is never always lost. Uh, just because it's delayed or paused does not mean that it's no. It just means that there is a specific time for everything. So currently in your energy, Scorpios, you have the King of Cups, okay. Provider of emotional support and maturity. So I see you guys. So like I say, this is a beautiful energy to be in, Scorpius, whether you're masculine or feminine, because check it out. If you're feminine, then you're in control of your emotions. You know, you, you get just, just a little dab here, a little dab all in moderation. You know, the king is a little bit more, unless he's in the reverse, but in the upright here. So it represents that not only are you in the energy and open for love, you have grown and you are mature in your love, okay? So that's a beautiful thing to be in because this open uh, King of Cups energy is a very, very magnet. You know, they say the good guys always come in last, but I'm telling you something, what's happening is the will of fortune is happening, change, towers, um, death energy. You got the Knight of Pentacles here, messenger of slow and steady. So you guys are not in a hurry. You're taking your time. You're really uh, considering things here. I feel like you're considering it, but I feel like you're not in a hurry to reach out to anything because I feel like you are emotionally balanced and everything is as it should be. Ooh, but you got the Seven of Swords here too. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. As well as the Five of Cups in the reverse. So y'all saying, that, okay, shit happens. Can't do nothing about it. It is what it is. I'm still going to move on and do me. That's what I see. I see you having challenges, but I see your challenges not being a blockage in your life. This is why you have maturity. So... Don't beat yourself up, Scorpio. You should be proud of yourself. But some of you guys are really growing maturely because of these lessons of love. All right, Spirit, what's going on externally coming towards Scorpios? Spirit, what's going on that is affecting Scorpios externally pertaining to love and life and anything else that's going to matter, that's going to bring Scorpios highest good, highest awareness, highness, highest freedom, highest elevation. What is Scorpio's external? Scorpio, this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. I just see magicalness. I always see magical things. Like, like I said, when I saw that whole family of deers out there, and it's, it's, like it look, it's like it was looking at me. It made eye contact, people. Because I had the door crack, and it looked, so it felt my energy. Ooh, now check out your energy that's coming, baby, your external. Because, of course, this is a Scorpio's reading. It is the two of cups, yeah. Soulmates and connection place. Ooh, child, okay. 
So you got that soulmate energy coming your way, honey. And, that's, and I can see because you're showing up as the King of Cups with the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Mm. So you guys, little do you know, something stable is coming your way and it's going to make you very, very, very happy, Scorpios. Good for you. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios external? Who is coming towards Scorpios pertaining to love? And you have seven of wands, perseverance, guardians. This, this is a soldier. This is someone here who is a fighter, a go-getter. Somebody here who can move and shake things up. They're not easily deterred. They're not easily, uh, you, this person takes L's good. Ooh, eight of wands. Quick communication garden. So somebody, y'all got something coming y'all way, Scorpios. You got communication coming in or some, some type of somebody's coming to you. But I feel like it's travel. You got a soulmate that's about to reach out to you, Scorpios. Ooh, and see, this is what's happening. See, I told you. The wheel of fortune. Divine timing, destiny, fate, karma. Look, could be an Aquarius, could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio, could be a Taurus. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, a Pisces, and you got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You got water and air over here. Hold on. So you have a soulmate because this will of fortune is representing good karma. It is destined. It's something that's supposed to happen. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. And they're coming in, leaving all the shit behind, coming in to uh, be happy and to live in their destiny, which is with you. Somebody, you're, somebody's coming in your life that is destined to be here. So whatever, <clears throat> whatever this meeting is, it's supposed to happen, okay? So let's see. Because look, your overall energy, look, it came out, I forgot. See, it just makes sense. <laughs> I just noticed this now, the King of Cups, see? See there? See how that be working out? King of Cups again, yep, there they go again. Now, whether this is you or them, because I put on your side, I put you can't get the king of cups, okay? So maybe this is you once again. You're open for love with somebody checking you out or you're checking them out because somebody is definitely coming in. The two, uh, two of cups is coming in. Page of, page of swords. Judgment. Ten of cups. Page of wands. Seven of wands. Okay, that's seven of wands again. What's up with Scorpios? What's going on here with this King of Cups and this Page of Swords? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Somebody is checking you out or somebody is checking. Either you're checking them out or they are checking you out, honey. Mm-hmm. So it could also represent you, Scorpios, are slowly making your way towards, uh, you know, establishing something or you're, constantly, or you're slowly but surely making your way towards the mindset or emotional place where you are open for love after uh, overcoming obstacle. Ooh. Daddy. They go daddy. They go to Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What's going on for Scorpios? Ooh. Five of Pentacles. Somebody feeling left out. Somebody is cold. They once had your love in Scorpio and they want it back. <laughs> they can't let, let go because they want it back, okay? Or maybe that's y'all. King of Pentacles, somebody looking for something real. They go to Page of Pentacles along with the Six of Wands, along with the Star Card. Aquarius, they go to Star Card again. Underneath the bottom, the Page of Cups and the Death in the Reverse and the, the Magician. See, somebody here, I feel like somebody don't want to miss an opportunity with you because they're not happy. Somebody want to be happy. Somebody could have had other opportunities, but they're not wanting them because they're not Scorpio's opportunity. <laughs> Somebody's having closure issues or is not wanting something to change or end. That's your energy. Somebody wants to start completely over. Somebody's very optimistic that maybe things can start over again. Because if it's left up to them, they're going to do whatever they got to do to get you back. Okay, the magician, or it could be y'all. 
Two of Wands, planning. Somebody is planning something here and their goal, the Hierophant, see? Somebody's planning something, Scorpios, that you may not see coming, but at the same time, I feel like you're open for it because you showed up as the King of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. So some of you guys may already be involved in something here and you guys are vibing good together. And something is about to get serious here. For others, for some of you guys, you've been waiting patiently and you're tired of waiting and I feel like something is about to happen for you. I feel like with this will of fortune on your external that something in their life coincides with your life, especially if it's a soulmate. Well, you got the soul two of cups. So this is somebody here who it is time for them to show up in your life and do something, something big. It's going to happen. And I feel like it's going to bring in healing for you, for them or for the relationship. I also feel like this is an opportunity for somebody to get their wishes fulfilled. Something that you this could have actually been something that you are manifesting, especially in the King of Cups energy. So it could be water against earth here. You could be the water sign while you're dealing with the earth sign. It could be a, a, a air sign because you got the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. The only water you do have is the King of Cups and you got the Four of Wands fire energy. And this one air energy, the star card. So like, I feel like, I feel like something is slowly making its way to you. Okay. Somebody is slowly coming out of the cold to where it's warm. It, okay. <laughs> they slowly coming out the cold. It's so cold out like here. And they hoping that they got a nice warm place waiting on them. God dang it. They say this Scorpio journey been rough. <laughs> But they're hoping, but I feel like they can have a nice, warm place to go to if that's what they're going to put the work in. For, cause now, they're supposed to establish a firm foundation, uh, some, some type of uh, uh, commitment, uh, traditional. I feel like somebody may be about to move in with somebody, all right? There's an offer that's coming your way in hopes that it's going to heal the connection. Now, whether this is somebody from your past or just, just, just coming from the karma with the will of fortune, somebody may be coming into your life specifically to set things or to bring balance or your karma. You, somebody, may be, somebody may be coming in because they're part of your karma in what they do, okay? Now, somebody's coming in with some type of offer. I feel like you got communication coming in because you have the eight of wands on your external and the will of fortune as well as the seven of wands. So this is someone here who is determined. But why are they so determined unless there's always been, uh, unless there's always already some type of challenge between the two of you? With the five of pentacles, this could very well be someone from your past, okay? They're looking at you. They're wanting to come in and uh, balance the scales, and they're coming in here with some offer that they're hoping is going to heal the situation, and y'all can take things back to like they used to be, okay? They say, and I feel like making love. See, somebody, see, somebody's going to, somebody got love on their mind. They got love on their mind, Scorpios. Now, for some of you, Scorpios, you may have a, a water sign as well as a earth sign that's checking you out. All right. Okay. For some of you, you got two people that's checking you out. You may have somebody here that may come in here and do something for you just so they can get your attention here. Okay. You know, this could be somebody here who got money and they know, you know, you know, they, they know how to get your attention and things and come in here and buy you a gift. So now they, they now, you know, they got you something like that. The King of Cups probably is the one that's looking for a relationship if it's more than one person. Because like I say, y'all could very well have more than one people. You could have a water sign and an earth sign here. So let's see. Because the only water is the King of Cups. So let's see. Somebody's coming in with some stable, solid offer. So it seems like the energy that's coming your way is not going to be for gain. Everybody's coming in, bringing in something. Now the question is, is it, is it, is, does it match up with what you want? Because with the two of cups here, this is some type of partnership, teamwork, working together, working together to build a, 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 harm, a harmonious connection here. Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. Any relationship is a partnership. How can you walk together except you agree? 
So you may be attracting agreeing energy, you know what I'm saying? Not non-oppositional. With this, with this uh, star card twice and the will of fortune, I feel like it's not going to be hard because when it's divine timing and when it's all about divine intervention, then what it's going to be, it's going to be. And I guarantee you, even if you may feel like you're tired of waiting and by the time it comes, you may feel like you don't want it, but that's a lie. If you've really been manifesting something, but you're getting tired and you're trying to convince yourself that you don't want it now because you ain't received it now, I guarantee you when it comes, you'll change that. All right, page of swords from a Scorpio's Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's up with my page of swords? What you checking out, little, little shorty? What, 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 you, what you trying to find out? Uh, oh, okay. I got the back door open. I got my heat on too because it's chilly. I thought I heard something here. See? Page of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. They go to Knight of Pentacles again. Because somebody's checking you out because they're wanting to come in and bring you some type of offer. Hold on, y'all. Let me check my camera. Something sounds close. Maybe next door. Let me see. Okay, so it's next door. All right. So we got the Page of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Somebody's watching you because they're slowly making their way to you, okay? Somebody's checking you out because somebody's wanting to come in and offer you something. So you know how people check out somebody here. Uh, somebody could be looking at you, um, considering coming in, bringing you something that's going to be real here, okay? But they, they're not sure. So let's see, or you're going to have to decide whether or not you want the offers that's coming your way. Now, what's up with this Page of Swords? Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, see? So this is someone here checking you out because they, they want peace between the two of you. Somebody's thinking about coming in and bringing an offer, but they already know what it was between y'all. It was some type of Five of Swords, taking a break from it, a hard break, and all this shit like that, and somebody trying to move the heck away from the, the conflict and move towards the better parts of the connection here. Uh, this is why somebody's trying to come in here and once again bring you a stable, solid offer because this is like, I feel like it's a peace offering, but I feel like somebody really wants some, <laughs> something real with you. Especially if they haven't really been offering something real in the past, then what you got coming your way is somebody coming in here bringing you something real. Real. Honey, it's a real love. The time, the kind you know will last forever. We are a perfect pair balance. See, somebody know that they got to come in here and do something right in order for it to be balanced between the two of you because it used to be a bunch of mess. OK, and they are aware of that. And so, like, I feel like somebody here is wondering. Look, and now there go the king of sticks. And I feel like somebody here may be finding you very, very beautiful, attractive, or somebody is building up the courage and the uh, somebody's about to take the actions because somebody's coming in with something real. Now, you could have, it could just represent that in your energy, you have multiple people checking you out. You, know, you may have multiple people coming in that's bringing you something real. And they're going to be very, very, because you got the seven of ones, they're going to be very, very uh, confident. This ain't nobody, this is somebody here who's on their shit, they know what they want, and they're going to do what it takes to get them. Now, what's up with this King of Cups for Scorpios? King of Cups. Ooh, I told you the King of Cups ready for love, baby. Ace of Cups, there's somebody who wants some unconditional love. So is this you? Because I know you be loving hard like that. You, you be requiring it. Look at that. I know this got to be you. Ten of Cups. Or you got somebody coming in here that just want it all. I'm talking about they want it all. King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work things out. So you got the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles here. Somebody may be coming to you saying that, you know what? I don't want to be selfish anymore. I want a commitment because somebody going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. 
What else for this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups coming to a Scorpio? Who is this King of Cups? This is, I have to say this is you until I see different. What's up with this King of Cups? Mm, but it ain't. See there? Now they go to Queen of Wands. See? <laughs> so you got the King and the Queen of Wands. So this is a very, very, ooh, no wonder. See, it's the same person. See? See? So there is a lot of attraction here. See? So not only is this person got the hots for you, they got the love for you too, Scorpio. Ooh. How could they ever get over this? They, they can't get over you? Well, what you thought? You thought somebody could get over you? Somebody wants you. They won't back in. Or somebody, like, I feel like they're already in love. You got the king and the queen of cups with that two of cups. Over here, you got the soulmates. The seven of wands, the eight of wands, and the will of fortune. Something may have changed where somebody may be realizing that they have fallen deeply in love with you. And that they're ready and, and, and um, planning to come offer you something real now that they realize that, wow, there's something real here. King of Pentacles. Now, we know this King of Pentacles is a good supporter, provider here. You know, this is somebody here who takes care of the family, a provider, a husband, a good uh, boss. What's up with this King of Pentacles from a Scorpio spirit? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Can I believe I saw those deers at their sea? Justice. This, this person is coming in your life to create structure, okay? They're, they say, put it on paper. See there, Scorpio, see, ooh, this is good. They, they want it all, see? The King of Cups, that's them, see? Somebody say, baby, you can have all of my love because I know you deserve it all, see? Somebody's looking for somebody that they can share their love with under this union. I feel like somebody wants to go into a contract. I feel like they want to get married or at least, I feel like I like I feel like somebody's in love, but you know how that King of Pentacles is. What's up with this King of Pentacles? You got justice could be a Libra. Wow, Scorpio. See, it's the same person, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles got the King of Cups. So they're in love. The King of Cups is looking at you like the Queen of Wands, Two of Cups. So they're very, very attracted to you. And they're they're like I say, the Page of Swords got the King of Wands. And the balance card, because you balance them. See? See there? King of Wands and the balance and the Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. See, you're the one that brings balance to this person here. And this is what they're realizing here with this Page of Swords energy. And not only are they realizing that, somebody's like, shit. I feel like making love. Then somebody said they, they should be loving you instead of fighting with you. They said, what the heck? Six of swords, they're getting away from all of that mess that's going to keep them away from you because they said that they could be thinking about a million things they could be doing with you. Other, see, they got it bad for you, Scorpio. Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> Oh, that boss, that boss got an addiction to you, honey. Wow, Scorpio, little do you know that you are this person's sweet spot and their weakness. Yeah, you're the one that's stuck on their mind now. It's all about you, Scorpio, and how they can win you back, honey. Knight of Pentacles for my Scorpios. What's up with this Knight of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. Huh, they go that eight of wands again. See, it's right there. The eight of wands is right here next to the knight of wands, knight of pentacles. And right here, you have the two of cups, seven of wands, the eight of wands, and the will of fortune. See, 
Somebody may have been waiting for the right time and, and they may have not even been waiting on the right time. Whatever time they chose, it was going to be the time. OK, because we do things and we think that we'd be really planning. We'd be setting our intentions. We'd be setting dates and marking the calendars and all those things like that. But this will of fortune knows everything. So sometimes you think that you accidentally meeting someone when that was all a part of divine timing and fate and destiny the whole freaking time. Sometimes you meet somebody that's very, very toxic and you think that, uh, uh, some, you know, it's not supposed to be. But that's exactly what's supposed to be in your life, because how are you going to learn your lessons? It's not all about our people that we're involved with, but it's more about us in any given situation here. All right, the Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Some, something is slowly about to come your way. Now, I feel like something is slowly entering into your life. Could be a, a conversation, a call. Could be a conversation or a call. I'm not going to say slowly because with this eight of wands, I know what it is. It's somebody coming in here to establish something big. Somebody's coming in here with something real. OK, they're not. Yeah, and the reason why they're coming in here with something real is because somebody's made up in their mind that they're extremely attracted to you, that they are in love with you. So you, if they go, if they can have all of you, then they'll give you anything, baby. All they need you to do is just love them. And somebody's feeling like that's got to be fair because you got the judge because all I want is your love, baby. I take care of everything else. That's what they saying, Scorpios. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Now, that's what y'all that's what y'all feminine saying to you, Max. I'm like, baby, all I need you to do is to be the man of the house. I'm going to cook. I'm going to do all those things that a woman do for her man. I'm going to make sure every day you wake up, baby, you're going to have a beautiful, glorious smile on your soul, okay? <laughs> Scorpio, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. You know Scorpio be hidden like that. You know you be hidden like that. You got a boss. You got a boss ready to throw in the towel. See? Ace of Wands, baby. The fool, they said, baby, I'm going to do something I ain't never thought I'd do in my life, but it's something about you that I just want to just go in because I feel like the rewards is going to be so freaking worth it. Ooh, I know it's going to be worth it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, Scorpio, now you have, okay, you got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands, okay? All right, one more card for the Knight of Pentacles. What's going on here? The High Priestess here. It could be somebody here not saying anything or it could be somebody taking a leap of faith, coming back to you, even though there's been no communications here. So it's almost like somebody saying, if you can't do nothing but tell me yes or no, but I guarantee you ain't going to tell me no, because I'm going to get I'm going to give you what you want. <laughs> I'm going to give you what you want. If you give me what I need, I'm going to give you what you want. Please give me what I need. I'm finna give you what you want. Please give me what I need, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, you know. <laughs> now you got the five of pentacles. They say it's cold out here. They said them long johns ain't working. I done took a shot. I'm still cold. My snot cold. My snot done froze up. Please, please. Scorpio, have mercy. All right, five of pentacles. They're trying to take this relationship out the cold and bring it in where it's warm at in this four one. See? See how they next door? See? They said that they finna bring this shit out the cold and bring it where it's nice and warm, baby. <laughs> All right, five of pentacles from the Scorpios. See, they said, baby, please don't fuss at me. Please, just, just, just don't cuss me out, baby. I need you, baby, please. They coming back on their hands and their knees where it's warm at. It's Scorpio's place. See, they go there four ones again, baby. See there? Somebody say, you know what? I, I was wrong. I'm not happy. I miss you. Uh, there's no other cup in this whole galaxy other than yours. And I want your cup, okay? Somebody say, baby, please don't fuss at me. They say, baby, please, I, I need you. Please don't turn me down. That's what they said. They say, baby, please. They say, if it ever was a time I needed you, I need you now. 
Somebody say, baby, please, I need you too bad for that. Baby, please, 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 baby, 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 please, please, baby, please, baby, please, 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 baby. I, I, I don't want to hear you say that those words. Don't, 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 don't say those words to me, baby. Don't say those words to me when I need you now. See, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the Four of Cups. They say, baby, please don't turn your back on me. Don't leave me in the cold. I learned my lesson, baby, please. Baby, please, please. Let me, let me warm you up. Please don't be so cold, baby. Please, 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 please. That's what they're saying. They say, you too cold, baby. Please don't deny me. Don't deny me this opportunity, baby. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to love you, baby. I'm trying to love away all that pain. I'm trying to love away all those scars, baby. You just give me a chance. I guarantee you, I'm going to rock your Scorpio world and make you mine. Four ones for my Scorpios. So this is a twin flame soulmate connection, see? Seven of swords. So this is somebody here. Three of cups here. All right, now what's up with the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Somebody not being honest, somebody what? They may feel like you don't want it no more because they want it. See, they may be looking at like maybe you done chose a different direction here. Maybe you're choosing to do other things, see? Somebody may be feeling like you're, you're choosing to move on somewhere else. Ooh, Scorpio, that's what they feel too. Cause they they got the four ones, but they may be saying that maybe you're moving on and trying to get your four, trying to get it to somebody else. They go to Sun card. Mm. Why is the four ones here with the seven of swords? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Why is this here, Spirit? Oh, okay. There you go. The Empress. So they may be looking at you like you don't want to give to them anymore. Because it seems like you're the one that's calling the shot, Scorpios. You know it. They always want to come back here. See, somebody want to heal things between the two of you. They say, babe, I know I did wrong, and I know you don't trust me. And I know you deserve so much better than what I did to you and what I gave you as this empress. But somebody's trying to come back and heal things between you because they don't want you to, they don't want the seven of swords to be the only thing that you think about them, okay? Somebody want to show you another side of them, Scorpios, a loving side. All right, Page of Pentacles. Aquarius Leo, the teacher. So this person may have learned, somebody may have taught them something. This person may have learned from a separate, from y'all separation here. With the Page of Swords, maybe they've been studying you, really, really taking note of what, uh, how you, what, what you desire and what you're going to stand up for. They know you're no nonsense because you got the Queen of Swords here. So they know you're not going for it. See, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody here that will learn you, that they will study you, they will take the time to get to know everything that you want. It's almost like somebody here is open for you, okay? They're open. They're open to your needs. They're open to your concerns. They're open to your emotions now, okay? They say, baby, if I was ignoring you in the past, you have my undivided attention now, baby. Please just look at me. You don't even want to look at me, do you? can't stand me like that, baby. Please look at me because I can't get over this. They can't get over this. See? Page of Swords. Somebody's realizing that this connection has a stronger hold on them than they realize. And, and they've tried to let it go, but they can't. Now they're focused on getting you back and it going as planned. Six of Wands. What they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Now they're trying to join you, Scorpios, but they're coming on your terms, all right? And they're not going to come in here being pushy. They're going to come in here and be submissive and respectful and treat you like the freaking empress that you are, see? They go to Sun Card, Leo Angel. They just want to win now. They say, look, if you say I'm wrong, baby, you got dang right I'm wrong, baby. Now all I want to do is make it right, okay? <laughs> they say, yeah, I ain't shit, but hey, I'm trying to do better, though. You be, you can only call me ain't shit when I ain't did better. To get, at least give me a chance. Now you got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles, see? Got the Ten of Cups. And they go to Nine of Swords. I feel like somebody is tired of stressing out. Somebody is wounded from this connection. And somebody has cried their last cry. And now they want to do something. I feel like somebody said they're tired of having a pity party. Now, now they got to take action. 
because they say that's the only way they're going to get you, see, because they're going to hang men in the reverse. Somebody's having to sacrifice and compromise and finally get out of their comfort zone if they really want to be happy. Now, whether that is you, Scorpio, or them, because it is definitely a lot of happy on this table. Now, you got the star card. Why is the star card here? Got the star card twice. Aquarius, wishes coming true, nine of wands. This person wants to heal things because they were blocking things because this person had a, had a lot of regrets. So all they can think about is patching things up. They just want, they don't want to make it right. They want to love. If somebody's in the loving energy. That's all they can think about is love, love, love. See, this is what somebody is regretting if they were so selfish and self-centered and they were not including you. And as a result, they know that it was a horrible ending. But like I said, somebody is aware of all these things now. This is why they're coming back in to hopefully heal the situation between the two of you. And yes, they are hoping that timing is on their side and that it's not too late because somebody is about to do something that they've never done before just to prove to you that they do love you, Scorpios. All right, all right Scorpio, this is your reading, honey, and beautiful it is. Okay, I'm talking about beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Please like, share, and subscribe, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for your energy. I appreciate each and every one of you. You deserve it all, and for some Somebody, you're exactly, you're going to get it all, Scorpios. Thank you guys so much, Scorpios, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.